Hi everyone, my name is Bree Andersey and I'm here to talk to you today about some of the most common hooks that are used for fishing. So I like to use circle hooks. Uh, circle hooks are great for conservation because when the fish goes after the bait and it hooks, it goes into the corner of the fish's mouth, which instead of them swallowing it and them getting gut hooked, um, the mortality rate is a lot better for fish when you're using circle hooks. Uh, but some other hooks that uh, are very common are J hooks and treble hooks. So we're gonna talk about the differences between circles, J hooks, treble hooks. First, I'm gonna be talking about the J hooks. And one thing that I wanna explain is the size of the hook. So as you can see here, it says size number two. And this one says size number two slash zero. So it's a little bit confusing when you try to explain this, but when we have a two slash zero or a three slash zero, as that number increases, this, the hook size increases as well. If you have the one that says number two or number one, as the number increases, that hook size actually gets smaller. So it's kind of confusing. I don't know why we do that exactly, but um, that's the difference between the two slash zero or the number two. And as you can see with the J hook, it's shaped like a J. That's kind of how it got its name. You can use these on inshore species. You can use these for fresh water. And uh, a lot of people commonly use the J hook. One of the biggest things with using the J hook is to know what fish you're targeting and what size bait you're gonna be using with it. Because you don't wanna use a really small hook and have a fish that's a little bit bigger swallow that hook and end up getting gut hooked. Uh, the mortality rate is uh, pretty severe if you are using smaller hooks and catching the larger fish. So um, you might wanna use something like a number two if you're going for uh, a smaller fish, you might want to use a two slash zero if you're going for a larger fish. And with J hooks, you have to set the hook. So that's one of the biggest things. That's the biggest difference between a J hook and a circle hook. With the J hooks, you set the hook and that's when you do that little jerking movement and you pull up. And when you're doing that, you're making it stick into the fish's uh, mouth. So that's a very, very important uh, fact to know about using J hooks. Now, this is the circle hook. You can tell it's a circle hook because um, the way that the shaft is shaped, it's gonna keep going and it's almost like a semi-circle. It doesn't completely close, but you can tell a difference in that it's not just that straight J. These are all size two. So these two are the aught, so the two slash zero, and that's the number two. When you're using a circle hook, um, you do not set the hook. So when you're using this, you hook your bait on, you throw it out, and when the fish hits and starts to take the bait, that circle kind of just rotates around and it goes right into the corner of the fish's mouth. So that's a great, great benefit to using a circle hook because that means it's not swallowing it and then getting gut hooked. A lot of people use J hooks because one, they have a better rate of actually hooking fish sometimes. So when you're manually setting the hook uh, for the J hook compared to when you do it for a circle and you don't set the hook, there's a better chance of you hooking that fish. Um, although when you do use circle hooks and they do hook, you have a better chance of getting that fish to the boat. So there's pros and cons for using each kind and there's no absolute right way uh, to pick but there is a right way to pick when you're looking at the size of your bait in comparison to your hook size. So if you want to use a J hook and you have, um, you know, a certain size bait fish, you can use a circle or you can use a J. So again, this is just a J hook. This is the soft plastic um, artificial bait. You can take this part off and switch it out. And this is what it looks like inside. Um, but the head of this is weighted and again that's just a J hook so I would have to set the hook for using this bait. So with the weighted jig head what's great about this is that 
if you want to change the color of your bait. So say I wanted to put something that's pink on or something that is silver or blue and I just want to change it up, you could just easily take this piece off and then you would go and switch it off and put a new one on. This is what I use when I go for snook and they're deeper in the water. So I'm gonna toss it out and then gently jig it up and reel a little bit. And as I'm doing that, um, it's bouncing off the bottom and it looks like it's a live bait. Something's moving. It's gonna catch that fish's attention and uh, hopefully go after it. And once it hits, I'm gonna set that hook and hopefully bring up a snook on that one. <laughs> All right, the last bait that I'm gonna talk about, this is uh, artificial uh, top water and it makes a little bit of noise, which uh, sound travels faster in the water. So we wanna get the sound of a uh, fish in distress out there. So when we're jigging it back and forth, that's what they're gonna hear. They're gonna hear something going on at the top of the water. Hopefully it catches their attention and they go after it and they hit it. And lucky for us, these ones have the treble hooks on it. So instead of just having the one hook, we have six hooks. So when that fish comes up and bites, hopefully it doesn't bite right in the middle, hopefully it bites on the end or the front, but you have a good chance of hooking that fish. So when we say treble hook, uh, that means that there's three hooks and um, some lures are set up where you can have nine hooks all together. So it would be a treble, treble, treble and then you have nine hooks instead of one, or um, for this one, there's six hooks on there. You wouldn't use live bait on a treble hook. You would, again, you would use it with the J hooks or the circle hooks, but not with uh, a treble hook. You would usually use uh, the artificial or the swim baits. So this is a hard um, top water uh, treble hook and something that is a softer plastic with a treble hook is something like this. It's a swim bait, so I like to use the swim baits. I like to use the top waters. Um, again, when that fish comes up and it hits it, um, normally it, it'll hook in at least two of them. Sometimes the whole thing will get stuck on it, but uh, you just have to be really careful on how you remove it and release that fish back in the water. Normally, they'll come up and they'll, they'll hit it and it's their lips that get stuck on the actual hook. Um, if the lure is too small and they swallow it, so say this lure was half the size and I have a snook that comes up and hits it and it ends up swallowing it. That is, it's like performing surgery, trying to get it out from it being inside of them. So when you go to remove the hooks from the fish, it's very important to not just try to rip it all out at once because you're gonna cause some damage. Uh, you wanna take one hook out at a time the best that you can and if you have hook or de-hooking tools, um, please do that because that's gonna have the best prognosis for that fish getting back in the water and swimming away. So um, this is the top water and the treble hooks with it. So after you use your hooks, it's very important to rinse it off with fresh water, especially if you're fishing salt water, because if you don't, it'll rust and it'll dull the barb, then uh, your hooks are gonna get dull. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have questions, there's so much information out on the internet and go to your local bait shop too. Um, I've learned so much just from talking to different bait shop owners or workers there and they are usually more than happy to teach you and show you the different kinds of knots to tie, the different types of hooks to buy. So whatever you're trying to catch, just make sure you do that research and I'm gonna go try my luck.